Welcome back to another episode of Fail or Fire, the series where we tell you whether something's a fail, fire, or just plain mid. I'm your host, Thundarius, and I'm joined by my absolutely fire ass co hosts, Jade and Dylan. And Dylan. And we are Cyber Skull Media. Today, we are bringing you some BLP kosher now technically this is the first time we've done this on the channel for you guys however we did record a blp kosher a few weeks back but we never ended up getting to drop it so it's one of our uh, our unreleased videos so we have seen blp kosher before shades and i but we had never seen him before this video so this will be the first time you'll get to watch us react to this some at some point we will drop that old video i don't know when yeah so this will be real interesting we liked we liked what we heard before that was what what was the song dylan that we covered we did mazel tron blp kosher and baby tron yeah so we'll have to maybe get that edited out at some point but plate's a little full right now especially especially for all you ren fans we got to just keep keep that stuff going but without anything else, you guys got anything else to say before we hop right into Baker Act by BLP Kosher? I'm pretty stoked for this one. Since this is the first time on this channel that we publicly talked about this now, you want to give us a brief 30 second rundown of who BLP Kosher is, Dylan? BLP Kosher, a Jewish rap artist from Florida, was a semi pro skater back in the day. A lot of different cultural elements in his style, pretty unique hairstyle that gets a lot of attention. He is coming to Omaha, so if anybody wants to float us some green to go see BLP Kosher, hook us up. The uh, tip link is in the description below. <laughs> let's let's go. Let's do this, baby. Hey, Viz, you fucking crazy. Water. 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 I shot her off, I used to wanna shoot myself I cut her off, I used to try to cut myself Life's a gamble, I had to do what I was dealt I get up in that car, I'm the king of the road like Jerry Phelps I shot her off, I used to wanna shoot myself I cut her off, I used to try to cut myself Life's a gamble, I had to do what I was dealt I get up in that car, I'm the king of the road like Jerry Phelps Alright, I'm not going to um read those lyrics like i typically typically do sometimes but um very <laughs> interesting start yeah this is very atypical like so i'm a i'm a big blp kosher fan uh normally like he's not quite humorous i guess but like his wordplay is a lot more more fun uh this is a very heavy track for him much different uh who's jake phelps he's a skateboarder yeah a lot of skateboard references uh okay. yeah so Deal. any any name drops or references i'm your guy all right like King of the Road, and and J and Shades doesn't know it. It can't be a car guy. And <laughs> not, nope, he's he's a skater. Stay local, standing on small business. I'm a dreidel and I'm vocal. Trick me out my true religion. They can't even contact me. I got such a big vision. Heard there's money on my top, bitch. I'm in Broward, big chilling. I'm pulling up like Moses. I'ma break the golden calf. I'm still screaming, fuck off that boy, a bitch in the house. They know that I'm my brother's keeper. I'ma rap on his behalf. I choke the mat while getting to the cheese. Focused on my crap. Oh, no. Pause. Oh, man. <laughs> Quick aside for you know the people that don't know the beginning of that verse he's, he's talking about Jew Shiesty that's who kind of put him on Jew Shiesty did pass away in 2022 early there but uh, that line about the Mac get my cheese about his craft I'm like man <laughs> his wordplay the Mac will get into the cheese focused on my craft that's what I love about BLP his his wordplay he packs a lot of cool like double entendres in there it's good shit pulling up like Moses I'm gonna break the golden calf. I love that line. <laughs> need no validation. I blew up, still no vacation. Jump the fence, I Boca high. I don't need no education. I go ham, but I keep kosher Florida hot, and I'm still baking. I keep the glizzy if it's beef, but I won't go for anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. Got bars. I go ham, but I keep kosher Florida hot, and I'm still baking. I keep the glizzy if it's beef, but I won't go for Nathan's. Nathan's ah. famous kosher hot dogs. I'll tell you what, if I want kosher, I go kosher dill pickle. Get those classic ass dills out of my goddamn <laughs> face. <laughs> dill out of my face. Shot her off, I used to want to shoot myself. I cut her off, I used to try to cut myself. Life's a gamble, I had to do what I was dealt. I get up in that car, I'm the king of the road like Jake Phelps. I shot her off, I used to want to shoot myself. 
I cut her off, I used to try to cut myself. Life's a gamble, I had to do what I was dealt. I get up in that car, I'm the king of the road like Jake Phelps. I'm rolling. And we didn't really talk about it when we first had the course, but yeah, he's talking about some heavy shit here. Serious mental health stuff. You forgot those thoughts. Talk to somebody. Yeah, and he, he's normally not that vulnerable. I mean, I won't say braggadocious, but a lot of his stuff is about being hard, kind of living hard. This is, like I said, a, a completely different avenue for him to kind of go down. We're running through your block, my face clean like Haley Bieber. Smoking all these ops through a hash pipe. I'm a weezer. Never thought I'd get up off that hash pipe. I ain't either. We got pressure. I pressure walks the block. A list of steamer. I'm balling on these bitches. My money tall like Angel Reese. I'm calling out green shit. You calling the police. I'm we don't fuck with Angel Reese around here. We're from Iowa, okay? Caitlin Clark, what's good? It's Caitlin Clark town up in this bitch, okay? Turns up with the gang and crown heights like baby king. I was going to war with them pills, call it baby dean. Hoes ducking out, they calling back because I got wealth. Now these bitches want to fuck, I told them fuck themselves. Sometimes I'm looking at my fans and I see myself. I was suicidal, I had to learn to love myself. I shot a op, I used to... Really hard to love yourself sometimes and learn to do that especially when shit's rough that's the thing like when you struggle you know there, there's always people that are gonna love you there's people that love you unconditionally you really have to love yourself to get out of that space you can hear all the positive affirmations from everybody anybody in the world can tell you that you're you're doing great and it just doesn't register until you feel it and mean it yourself. I want to shoot myself. I cut her off. I used to try to cut myself. Life's a gamble. I had to do what I was dealt. I get up in that car. I'm the king of the road like Jake Phelps. I shot her off. I used to want to shoot myself. I cut her off. I used to try to cut myself. Life's a gamble. I had to do what I was dealt. I get up in that car. I'm the king of the road like Jake Phelps. That was a heavy ass video. Well, as our resident BLP kosher expert, Dylan, would you start us off? It's an easy fire for me. A different tone, some kind of heavy subject matter, a different style of video for him. You know, even though he's got his, his clever wordplay, you know, he had his kind of chuckling or jaws drop a little bit with some of his double entendres and whatnot. He's telling a story and he's, he's speaking to people. When people look up to artists, they usually do. And if they do, that's great that they can self-reflect and they can see, hey, this person who I admire got here because they overcame those struggles. So I love BLP for putting this one out, putting his heart on his sleeve a little bit. So it's an easy fire. I love it. BLP is always, uh, he's pretty high on my list. I'm not going to fuck around again. It's fire. I love just being able to watch art in the form that we do and it makes me feel a certain way. All I can say, it's just fucking fire. It, it, I got to thank Dylan for showing me this guy. I never would have thought just from the looks of this guy, uh, look at anything he does, but I'm impressed. Well, this is tough because we just covered Ren do something insane. I'm trying to not compare it with that. So I'm trying to compare it with the last BLP kosher song that we covered. You guys on this channel have not seen yet, but I think I need to get it edited because as much as I resonate with the subject matter and things of that nature, don't hate me, but I thought it was mid. I like the last BLP kosher, even though you guys haven't seen it way, way more. As far as mental health stuff is concerned, there's a lot of other stuff that I prefer. I know how much more talented lyrically and written lyrically that, that he can be, but I gotta go with my gut on this one. I was feeling this from about halfway through the, the first verse and I gotta go with my gut. It just, I wasn't feeling it enough to give it a fire, but that's okay because, you know, we don't always agree on everything. We don't always see eye to eye on everything. Jades hates when people scream at things. So 
Hey, all I was going to say is, uh, so I've already been fired. Yep, uh, I'm saying Thundy is fucking fired for this one. So Dylan, boss man, sir. Uh, <laughs> We're taking applications for a third member. <laughs> We That's just not don't... how this works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> you have no power here. <laughs> <laughs> we just hit a thousand th subs and Thundy got fired. Hey, hey, you want to know why people love us? Because we're genuine and authentic. I'm not going to lie if it wasn't something I felt was fire. So oh, this is why it, it is what it is, baby. Hey. No, we're always we always keep it real. Yeah. Hey, you got two out of three. That's still a passing grade on this channel. So that's an A plus. Why don't you guys let us know in the comments below whether you thought this was a fail fire or just play mid, whether you are familiar with BLP Kosher or whether you need to check out the rest of his catalog. Because if you felt like me, you definitely need to check out the rest of his catalog. He's got he's got stuff that you're absolutely gonna fall in love with. So if you're more on my my side with this, check out his catalog for sure. If you're more on their side, you're still gonna want to check out his catalog it's got a lot of great stuff you know what else has a lot of great stuff dylan our channel our channel our fail or fire playlist we have what is this is this this is this is this is episode 50 boys is it really this is episode 50 i didn't even realize that oh yeah we started this impressive who would have thunk it we've already done 50 episodes since the beginning of june that's wild boys and we are now on the road to monetization because we are now officially over a thousand subscribers we just got to get that watch time baby and it's a wrap one one little tidbit here i respect your mid i respect the fact that we differ sometimes but do you really want to have a mid for your 50th fail or fire episode i want to have a genuine reaction for our 50th episode okay we didn't plan it this way i guess we could have flopped them and put blp ahead of rin but we're not going to do that we're going to give you guys authenticity over here all right flame me in the comments roast me i don't care because this is cyber school media we are fail or fire yes that's backwards i don't care you can't fire me twice <laughs> we'll keep bringing you the heat and we'll catch you in the next one see you later later